Welcome back, everyone. It's the Bourbon Judge. We are back at it, and I can't believe tomorrow is Thanksgiving. Yes. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving. Um, before we dive into today's episode, a couple updates. Uh, first and foremost, uh, if you haven't done thus far, please make sure you check me out over on Facebook. Uh, trying to, you know, add some a little bit of uh, content over there as well, and uh, so just like overall updates for the channel. So make sure you also check me out on Facebook, in addition to obviously, of course, Instagram and YouTube as well. So definitely check me out over on Facebook. Uh, next, merch merchandise so i obviously rebranded the channel as a whole voila one of my um newer uh designs if you will so go ahead and check me out over on thebourbonjudge.com on my website or you can click the link in today's episode to uh to get to my website as well um but yeah really happy with the design it was time for a change and um definitely loving the new uh design across the board so definitely if you're interested in some merch definitely go ahead and check me out over on my website thebourbonjudge.com all right so tomorrow is Thanksgiving, and this is a big holiday. <laughs> the cool thing about Thanksgiving, it brings friends, families, everyone. It brings people together, right? So, you know, obviously the base of it is food and the friendships, the family, your loved ones, but you gotta have some good whiskey to enjoy. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you three different recommendations. Um, and these are going to be like, not necessarily the bottles, but more about the concept of what I think you should serve. And I'm going to explain the reason why. Is that fair? All right. So the first category, um, when I think about good whiskey, I think it's important to have a pour that everyone at your dinner or at your, you know, your Thanksgiving is going to enjoy, right? So a, a pour that is just across the, across the uh, line, it checks every box, right? Great quality whiskey, great brand, a really good proof point, not too low, not too high. So for me, the first category is, I'm calling it your entry proof, a bottle that is a solid bottle across the board and one that everyone will love. So for me, my number one whiskey I'm starting out and I'm gonna serve right from the beginning as people walk in the door all throughout because some people will probably stay with this bottle. But the first one, the guaranteed home run that everyone loves. For me, I'm going with Old Forester, the single barrel, the black label. This is 100 proof. So to me, this is a bottle that, I'm gonna pour some more of this, this is what I'm sipping right now. This is something that I think, honestly, if you love whiskey, it's hard not to like Old Forester, the single barrel, the uh, the 100 proof. To me, it's just a solid bottle, one that across the board, you know, it's a great quality whiskey, one that everyone loves. And the fact that it's 100 proof, I think that is the icing on the cake. So, you know, if you can't find the Old Forester Single Barrel, the 100 Proof, you can find anything else that's in the 100 Proof uh, category. There's a lot of different bottle and bonds out there between, you know, 1792. There's a lot of craft distilleries that also offer a 100 Proof or a, or I should say, or a bottle and bond, which happens to also be a 100 Proof. But this to me is like the quintessential proof point, 100 Proof, great quality whiskey, and one that I think most people, if not everyone, will absolutely love. Who doesn't love a good uh, 100 proof whiskey, bourbon whiskey, right? Hey, real quick, it is Thanksgiving. I just want to say, honestly, just peace, cheers, salute. Thank you for always watching the channel and uh, happy Thanksgiving. It's number one. Mm. Woo! Wow, that's so good. See, this is something I can sip all night. I mean, I can sip this all day, all night. I'm gonna start sipping it before my in-laws come. <laughs> I'm gonna sip it while they're here and probably even after they leave as well. All right, that's number one. So Judge, what is number two and why? So number two, different category whiskey. Number two is important. Here's the reason why. A lot of people love bourbon and a lot of people are looking to make that leap of faith over to the rye category. So if you're gonna make that leap of faith over to the rye category and you want something that a rye that is somewhat similar to a bourbon, in my opinion, in my opinion only, the number two category is not just a rye, but a double oaked rye. There's a lot of different double oak ryes out there. I just happened to grab the peerless double oak rye, which is amazing. And I mean amazing. But you could also go with the Sagamore double oak rye. Pursuit uh, Spirits, Pursuit United, the Pursuit, Pursuit Spirits, those gentlemen, they have a great double oak bourbon and rye, but their double oak rye as well. 
also very good. A lot of different really good double oak ryes out there. This is probably one of the best ones on the market. So this is one I will absolutely be putting out uh, for my friends and family members that are stopping by for Thanksgiving. Number two, Peerless Double Oak Rye. Oh man, I want to pour some of this right now, but I'll get to it afterwards. We'll get to it afterwards. <laughs> mm. Woo, so good. Love that old Forester. All right, number three. Uh-oh, here we go. So number three, the third bottle that I think you should put out for Thanksgiving, in my opinion, my opinion only, I want to call it a celebration pour. This is a bottle where, you know, what I'm going to pick might be different from you, so I want to be crystal clear. What I'm picking is the bottle that I recently got uh, this year as part of like the whole allocation series, if you will. I got an allocated bottle, and I believe when you have an allocated bottle, they're not just like for on the shelf to look at and, oh, they look beautiful. This is to actually pop and to enjoy, and I will be popping and enjoying this tomorrow with my family and friends, and as long as we don't kill it, which hopefully we won't. <laughs> Not all in one day, at least. My goal is to share this bad boy for the next however long I have it with all my buddies that come over uh, for our, you know, our um, our whiskey nights. But number three is a celebration pour. It's Thanksgiving. You're celebrating life, hanging out with your family and friends. You have to bring out a special bottle. So what my special bottle is for number three. Oh yeah, it's getting popped. William Larue Weller. Definitely pop in this tomorrow, hands down. Anyone stops by my house um, in the next couple weeks, if you're around, you can have a pour of it as well. That's what whiskey is for. It's made to be enjoyed, not to sit on the shelf. So my special bottle is this. I'm not saying that's everyone's special bottle. I wanna be crystal clear. So your special model, bottle might be something different. Doesn't matter what it is. As long as it's special to you, use that as your celebration pour. Share it with some family members, some friends. Just make sure the people that you're sharing it with, if there's anybody in jeopardy of pouring William Lou Weller or whatever your specialty bottle is and mixing it with some Coke <laughs> or Diet Coke, maybe you hold off from that one and you just say, why don't you just stick with like the old Forrester <laughs> across the board. Hey friends, peace, cheers, salute. Happy Thanksgiving. Talk to you guys soon. Cheers. See ya.